Hello, I'm going to be explaining how tier PC works. So the first thing is what is tier PC? It's basically a way to run functions from the front end on your back end. So in this case, you can see there is this greeting function, right? You see that on the client and it is being defined on the back end greeting. And this will return some result that we can then access on the front end. You can also pass along some parameters to the back end that is type checked with Zod, which is just a validator and will return errors if the input does not match what is specified. So in this case, a string that is optional. First thing to look at here is how do you, how does your client know the types on the back end, right? You can see how this is type checked on the client from the server. Well, we do that by sharing the type of the router that is defined. So when you're using TRPC, you define a router from the TRPC server, and this defines various functions on it. Then we export a type app router that is just the type of the router that you've defined from TRPC. Then we use that router in the front end when creating the client, which is just a way to fetch the back end on a certain route. So in this case, it's API TRPC. And that will define the functions on this client. So in this case, greeting is defined from that type of router, which is just set right here. And so you can see how this all gets wrapped together. But this gets kind of confusing when you're on a larger app, like when you're building more complex things. So let's look at it in context of Jibber the federated social network that I'm building. And I've needed to customize how tier PC works and from the traditional T3 app, which is just a template on using tier PC with next auth and Prisma and that sort of thing. So in this case, I am logged in as Monroe programs, but I can switch to different profiles. So I can switch to like Monroe programs too and I'm now using that user, and I can go back to Minera Programs. And you do, do various things like like different posts, reblog, et cetera, on these different profiles. Well, that gets kind of complicated because all of a sudden you're gonna have to check if the user has access to that specific profile and so on. So how do, you, how do I actually accomplish that? Well, let's look at one of these. And you can see it's requesting the API TRPC route, and it sets profile, that means the profile router, and then the functions that get called. So in this case, get by ID. And here I pass along in the headers, the profile ID that is currently being used. Now I can actually customize TRPC to pass along that profile that's being used. In this case, we'll look at the notifications page. You can see that it calls the API. So first we have a question, what is that API variable? I'll show you, but it calls the notification router and then the get function on that notification router. And then it just uses use the normal React query. Let's look at this API variable and the utils API. So if we go there, we can see that it creates that create trpc next, which is just the same as create trpc client, except it's for next apps. Then we pass in that app router that we define, and that's imported from the server API root. And we define several links. So links in Next.js are, or I should say TRPC, sorry, are a way to chain together and yeah, customize the flow of data between the TRPC client and the server. It basically allows you to kind of plug in to when the request is being made and sent back. In this case, I wanted to edit when the request was being made and add that profile ID onto the headers so then we can access it in the back end and we don't have to set it on every single request. So now this is just set on all requests that are made. And to do that, I set the fetch variable on the HTTP batch link options, which is just a link imported from TRPC and I just override the headers and set that profile ID if it is if it exists. Then we just do a normal fetch event from the web API, 
which is just using your browser browsers inbuilt functions. Let's go into this a little bit more in depth. So we can see that we're calling the create trpc next, which is imported from trpc, and we call this on the client, right? So now the request is handed over to the server. So where is the server? It's in the next pages API and then trpc route. This creates a handler, which is just basically a normal API route on your uh, next router. And it handles and kind of combines the functions that are passed in. So in our case, like profile or notifications or any other router, and it routes it to the proper location. So you can see we have all these routers, so favorites, notification posts, etc. It will just route your request to the needed router, whatever is defined. And it also passes along with that request some context. And it gets the context from calling this create trpc context function. And that is something that we define ourselves in the server API trpc route. And you might be asking yourself, what is the context? Well, it's just something that allows you to access on all routes, so or all functions, I should say, have access to the context. So we set Prisma. That's something we, that we want to use on all routes, is the Prisma to connect to the database. But we also want to use the profile that the person is currently logged in as on all routes too. So how do we actually override and set that? Well, we just do that in the create trpc context, which is in this file. So in this file, you can see that the those two things that I mentioned, session and profile, are set and generated from these functions. These functions are defined in auth. So if we look in auth, you can see this is where we actually set if the function, or I should say set the profile if it exists. So we get the profile from the headers. If the profile exists, then find the first where the profile ID matches the profile ID passed in, and the user has access to that profile. So the user ID on the profile model matches the current session user ID. That will set the profile and we can now use it on all routes on trpc. The other thing is we might want to do some checks. So we want to enforce on certain routes that they need to have a profile set. In this case, we say that means it will be a protected procedure with profile. And what that means is we just check if the session is set. If it's not set, then we return an error saying it's unauthorized. Then the next, the next check is if the profile has been set on the context. And if the profile hasn't been set, then we return an error. Now we can use that and we can see here the protected procedure with profile meaning the user has to have a profile set to read their notifications. And we just hit the database, request the notifications for that profile ID. Now you can see how I've actually customized Next.js and trpc and all that sort of stuff, adding headers and customizing the router and so on. And I can show you my router right here, just what that we looked at in the beginning. Uh, so if you have any questions, I know this can be kind of convoluted and a big, like, big area to understand. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching.